The latest from Google's Notebook LM is here. Now, if you saw my previous video, Notebook LM has a feature that allows you to generate a podcast discussion. This gained a lot of traction. A lot of people fell in love with it and really enjoy listening to these podcasts. Well, today we are going to look at the next feature that is coming out. It's currently in beta, and this is for you to join this discussion. So let's jump onto the computer, jump into a Notebook LM, and let's join that podcast discussion. Here you can see I have my notebook full with resources on the left hand side and this is all about AI prompting. All these resources have to do with different prompts, different prompt frameworks and let's listen to the conversation. But instead of simply clicking on loading the conversation, this time we're going to go into the interactive mode. Mind you, this is currently only available for a select number of personal notebook LM accounts. So let's click in. The interactive mode is loaded. Let's start listening to the podcast conversation. Hey everyone, feeling a little overwhelmed by the AI world lately. Yeah, it seems like every day there's some crazy new development. Seriously, like how are we supposed to keep up with it all? Well, that's why we're doing these deep dives, you know? Exactly. Today we're tackling some things. Oh, hey there, what's up? Hey, I'm just wondering, what are you going to cover in this podcast? Well, that's a great question, and it's something we are just about to get to. Yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff lined up for you today. We're going to dive deep into prompt engineering. Exactly. We'll be looking at how you can use it to get the most out of AI tools and some techniques for making your prompts more effective. We were just about to mention how it's like the secret to unlocking the real power of AI. Right. It's like learning the language of AI so you can actually get it to do what you want instead of just getting something totally random. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Are you going to cover anything that is relevant to, say, a teacher in primary school or prompt frameworks that can be used by those teachers? OK, so that's a really good question, and it's definitely something we can address. Yeah, we were actually just about to dive into some core principles, but we can totally make it relevant to teachers. Looking at our resources, there are a lot of prompts that could help educators, especially with lesson planning and content creation. There's one order. So as you can see, this is an absolute game changer. You can now join and steer the conversation. You can jump into the podcast, ask follow-up questions, ask for more clarification. Maybe you didn't quite get something that is discussed in the podcast, well, you can then ask a follow-up question about that. So let's go ahead and fast forward in this podcast to another section, and then let's ask it a question about something that was discussed prior to me asking that question and see if it can go back and answer my question. It looks like there are frameworks for different purposes too, like using Bloom's taxonomy for creating educational content or the TQA method for structuring learning. What's fascinating is that a lot of the general prompt engineering techniques can be used in education. Oh, back to our listener. What's up? Can you remind me about the TQA principle? I seem to have forgotten. Sure, no problem. We actually mentioned the TQA framework very briefly just a minute ago. Yeah, when you said that it, it was one of the frameworks that could be used for structuring learning, but let's dive in a little deeper. So TQA stands for theoretic question answer. It's an educational framework that structures learning by first introducing a broad theme. Then it poses engaging questions. This is amazing. I can see this as an incredibly powerful tool for people to not only develop their own understanding of different concepts, but also if you are interested in a new subject or if you have a new hobby, you can upload all the relevant research and documentation and then you can prompt and question by just using natural language, by joining that conversation, by asking for clarification. So an amazing update to Google's Notebook LM. I would love to hear in the comment section below, where do you see this heading next? What do you think is next? Do you think this will come to education? Do you think this will become part of the Gemini for Education platform? And if it does, how do you think it will be used by both teachers and students? Let me know in that comment section below. I also want to say a quick thank you to all the channel members and Patreon supporters. You get this content early, you get access to all my videos and make it possible for me to create more and more content. If you would like to see all these videos, 
video is completely ad free, then Patreon is the place for you to be. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.